Kooky News, the Haunter community's leading news program, with Joseph Mayan and meteorologist Stryker Reinhardt. Party City is back with more killer props that they are still releasing for the 2024 season. They have released this new prop called CT Hulu. Now, I couldn't pronounce the name at first until just a few minutes ago, CT Hulu. But that is supposed to be a Kraken reference for Party City Halloween 2024. It is June 1st. We have finally hit summertime in the Halloween community. But the big story on Spooky News tonight is Party City keeps releasing more and more new props. Now this one is called CT Hulu. Now a lot of people are saying that this is a Kraken reference, which I do have to agree with that. Because uh, Kraken's an octopus and that looks exactly like Kraken. People have said they finally did it. They finally made a Kraken prop. But here's a demo or a look at the CT Hulu prop for Party City 2024. In my honest opinion, I really like it. I, I like the Kraken reference. That's what I like about this prop. And I also like the lantern that he holds in his hand. And it's got very good concept, very good detail. And Party City is going good this year. Now, it is June now. So now we are getting ready to see Spirit Halloween sneak peeks. Which I do want to mention, Halloween Haunter has bought a Spear Halloween Plague Doctor doll, which has not been on the website yet. Don't know how he got it, but he must have pre-ordered it. So here's a clip of him unboxing that. You might know by now, I got the Spear Halloween 2024 Plague Doctor in this box. Now I must explain, ugh. now I must explain how I got this thing because technically right now on the website, you can't actually order this. It's kind of strange. So basically every Spear Halloween item at the store gets a catalog link on the website these links are just kind of like previews of the overall page and then once you click on them you can go to the actual page and buy it and this guy the play doctor doll so the link was leaked it's currently down there's nothing on it it's not officially up yet but the catalog link was actually up there's currently no info on it no correct title it just had the price tag and this guy is made by YJ, so he's got like the same build as the Butcher. Maybe more fit now, finally. It does look more like fit. And yeah, this guy looks phenomenal. Like, wow, look at that. Hoo hoo. Something else I've noticed about Halloween Haunter's channel. How is he gaining subscribers so fast? Like, he just had 20k about four weeks ago. He had 30k about two weeks ago. And now he's at 43k subscribers. Like, What's going on? Is the algorithm like messing around with him? Is he getting bots for subscribers? Is he, I, I don't know what he's doing, but he's gaining subscribers fast. <laughs> he's probably gonna end up like that Nate guy in a couple years, who knows? A new horror movie has released yesterday. It is called In a Violent Nature. Reason I found out about this is I read an article from HalloweenDailyNews.com and if you want to go check out that article, I'm putting it on the screen right now. This is our sister station. It is called HalloweenDailyNews.com and this is where I get most of the stuff from my broadcast, like CT Hulu, like we just talked about a few minutes ago. You can go watch, you can go watch In a Violent Nature in theaters now as of yesterday. But anyway, it's time for shoutouts. It is shout out time on our broadcast tonight. I'm going to be picking five random YouTubers to shout out tonight. So here we go. Number five, Spirit Hollows. Number four, Morbid Haunter. Number three, Knox Haunts. Number two, Ternation. And number one, Matthew Garcia. You all deserve the shout outs tonight. And thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and liking my content. But like I said before, if you would like to get shouted out on Spooky News, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment. Make sure to turn on the notifications so you know when we do another broadcast. Well, Leone Productions has drawn another nostalgic prop last night on his Instagram. Here's a look at Hugs the Clown. Now, I remember Hugs the Clown back in 2018. I saw him in person, and he actually gave me a jump scare the first time. But Leonie Productions is, and I say is, the Haunter's artist. 
He draws all the nostalgic props, like last week he drew Cemetery Angel, which I loved. And I just hope I can see more nostalgic props drawn from that man, Leone Productions. Or anchor Metal Ghost 9 is going to Monster Palooza. Monster Palooza is taking place in California, and that's where our anchor Metal Ghost 9 is going. Now, it's supposedly one of the creepiest conventions in all of California. It features a bunch of different creepy creatures and wax figures of monsters. So, when Metal Ghost 9 goes, we will make sure that he films his journey to Monster Palooza. Well, this one brought some nostalgia back to me. As my longtime friend, Friendly Badger, had went ahead and made a VHS tape of the very first video on my channel, which is Spooky News, well, Spirit News First Broadcast. Take a look. Welcome to the very first broadcast of Spirit Halloween News, which is the news channel that will bring you info about new animatronic leaks, new theme leaks, and many more stuff to come during the seasons to come. But the big story tonight is the flagship grand opening that has happened today. Nearly 3,000 attendees came on this day. David's TV, Nate Guy, and all those other YouTubers showed up on this day. I got to interview so many people today, and I will now show you that. Here it is. Are you ready for flagship this year? I am super excited. I'm going to try to get House of Monica's Glorious Porno and Animal I absolutely love that, and I really love that it's on a VHS tape, too. And I should mention that the one-year anniversary of Spooky News is going to be on July 29th, because July 29th is when I started filming my first Spirit Spooky News broadcast, however you want to call it. But also, the next broadcast is going to be our 30th broadcast, so we're going to throw in some throwback stuff from this channel into our 30th broadcast. Now, I'm hoping this season we can reach 100 broadcasts in total. Let's just see how that goes. Also, I am doing my first 2024 interview. That is going to be the Vina experience, or the Vona experience. I don't even know how you pronounce it. But I will be interviewing those guys June. I don't have a date yet, but I will be interviewing those guys later this month. And then in August, I will be doing the flagship Phantom for my second 2024 interview. And then after that, I can start planning more interviews for 2025. I should mention before I toss the weather to Stryker that I am receiving a mystery package from Friendly Badger. He is not telling me what it is yet, but this is going to be sent to me after the first episode of the Forgotten series, I want to say, because I did tease this a little bit. No More Paradise. Now, that was the series that I was going to be in, and I was anchoring a new show in there. Well, for acting. But after that first episode comes out, I'm going to be getting a package. And yes, I will be doing an unboxing. So, be prepared for that. Also, I am doing my first 2024 interview. That is going to be the Vina experience. Or the Vona experience. I don't even know how you pronounce it. But I will be interviewing those guys June. I don't have a date yet, but I will be interviewing those guys later this month. And then in August, I will be doing the flagship Phantom for my second 2024 interview. And then after that, I can start planning more interviews for 2025. Finally tonight, we are going to toss the weather over to Stryker Reinhardt in the Weather Center. So let's go toss it over to him right now. Oh, hi there. Didn't see you. Okay, well, now we're in the Spooky News Weather Center. So... Here is the rain. There's not much rain. We haven't seen some rain in a while. Maybe like a couple, couple days. Yeah, but it was kind of a lot of rain. I mean, it was not. It's not that much rain to us. Like we got hit with a thunderstorm. That's not too bad. And here is the temperature. We're gonna be in the 50s, almost to the 60s. And here's the clouds. Not really any clouds. Let's go on to the seven-day forecast. Okay, this is seven-day forecast. On Wednesday, we'll be seeing a high of 79 and a low of 56. On Thursday, we'll be seeing a high of 79 and a low of 62. On Friday, we'll be seeing a high of 84 and a low of 64. On Saturday, we'll be seeing a high of 
86 and a low of 61. On Sunday, we'll be seeing a high of 81 and a low of 56. On Monday, we'll be seeing a high of 80 and a low of 59. On Tuesday, we'll be seeing a high of 78. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye. Thank you, Striker. Well, that about does it for tonight's broadcast. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember to like and subscribe and make sure to comment and turn on notifications so you know when we do another broadcast. Be sure to tune in next week with CT Haunts, Metal Ghost 9, and Meteorologist Striker Reinhardt for our 30th Spooky News broadcast. But for the entire Haunter community, I'm Joseph Mayan. I hope you guys can tune in next week. Good night. <laughs>